What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP comes out with another how to. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, you might want to consider subscribing if you're into, not only if you're into car audio tutorials, radio removals, QAs, all that good stuff. This is what we do here on this channel. I help you make your install life a whole lot easier. Today, we have a 1999 Chevy Tahoe. And we are going to be taking this single or this den and a half out and installing a double den. So if you want to see how we do that, continue to watch. These actually are pretty easy, man. It's just like the Chevy Silverado. The whole dash literally is held in by clips. What we're going to do is put that down in the lowest position. And we want to come over here. Now, this is in really good condition, so I wonder if we're going to be careful. But they're just held in by clips right there. So I'm just going to pop, pop it off, come up here. Pop it off like that. Get your hand up under there. All right. Now, the biggest thing is when you get it actually off, you want to go ahead and unclip the harnesses. Uh, this, that is annoying. Oh. All right, guys, I had to put that thing back in park because it was, that, that noise is getting on my nerves. All right, but uh, what I've already did is I reached behind here and I took those harnesses out in the, on the back. Um, what I usually do with uh, these type of trucks is I will take the, the hold on. This thing is in really good condition, so I don't want to mess anything up. We're going to have to take this harness out too. So usually in these installs, we could just uh, leave this harness actually on and unclip the ones that's right here. And then we'll just kind of let the dash hang. But that's only if we're doing a single den. Uh, we're actually going to be doing the double den. So it's going to require us to take this whole thing out. And we've got a brand new dash kit. Um, that we're going to be taking this out, the vents, all that type of stuff and putting it into the new dash kit. Uh, now, with this radio, all we have to do is press these tabs. There are some tabs on the sides of the radios. Just want to press that down. I really need two hands, but I can do it with one just so I can hold this camera. Press it down, slide it out. Boom, you got your radio. Take out the harnesses and antennas that's in the back. And uh, we will be good to go. Hold on. All right, so now that we went ahead and got that radio out, man, let's take this dash panel over there to our bench and let's get some things out of this and get it on to our new dash bezel. Guys, right, so right here we have the uh, old dash kit and here we have the uh, new dash kit. Now they do make them that have like, uh, I do, I believe they make some that actually have the uh, exact same color so you can match, but he just wanted to go with the black one. <clears throat> so this is what it comes with it comes with uh, these two that mount on the side of the radio so you can actually slide it back in the space that it has with those tabs and uh, you come with a little pocket or it comes with this for whatever you want to put in this section your AC is going to go here your radio goes right there now as you notice we don't have anything here here and there and that's because we need to take the vents uh, this little thing that thing and that and that vent out and put it in the new one so it's real easy because we're just going to flip this thing over and take all this stuff out of this and put it into there so i've already unclipped this one so you guys can see what it is everything in the back is held in by these little tabs and you got these little notches on the side that actually snap in so we're just going to literally pop it off and then we're going to come over here and we're going to pop it in to this so let's Let's do that real quick. All right. And now that looks like that. So it looks exactly like how I did over here because we're just taking the stuff out. So let me go ahead and just finish popping out all these little things that pop out. Um, notice this one does not, if you have some, some models will have like your passenger airbag stuff right here in these. You'll do the exact same thing. Just make sure you do not turn it on when you, uh, before you, without that passenger airbag being actually plugged in. So, uh, like I said, we're just coming over here. We're snapping it out of one and snapping it into the other one. Boom. I'm gonna finish this up. I'll be back in a second. All right, I took everything off the old one and put it onto the new one. Uh, with these clips, I just put them on the exact same way they are on, on the old 
thing in there very, very easy. So I didn't show me doing all of them because they just slide on like that. Now, the next thing we have to do is get this little plastic piece off. Yeah, we're just gonna peel these off. Just peel them off. And just pop right off. We're gonna bring it over here, set it back up. And there are some screws that come with the kit. It's gonna allow us to screw these in. And now that's done. <laughs> I don't know if you'll like this color combination with this red with the black, but we do have everything just like it was off the factory. Now let's go prepare that inside. All right guys, so we went on ahead and actually uh, mounted our bracket to the side. And it slides in just like this. Uh-oh, get the other side. but it will not go all the way to the back because of this piece and this piece. So what we want to do is go ahead and cut right here and that way we can get some clearance so this thing can go all the way back. So let's do that now. All right, y'all, so I just cut that little block out. I'm still gonna try to get this. You just gotta be careful because we're going around these wires. So now I'm gonna try to make this cut and then I'm gonna try to make that cut and take this little bottom shelf out and we should have no problems after that. All right, y'all, sorry I had to put the camera down, but I had got to, I had to be careful cutting this bottom part out because it's where these wires are at and I didn't want to touch those but we should have enough room now with that out and that bar out to slide this radio in so let's test that boom snaps in just like it's supposed to all right, y'all, that's what it looks like when it's all said and done, man. I hope y'all found some value in this video. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. I didn't actually go over the wiring. And the reason I do that is because here on the channel, I do a ton of radio removal. So at the end of the day, doing one each time I do a radio removal showing you how to wire it up is going to make this video really, really long. And some of them are going to be long as is because there's a lot of instructions on how to hook this stuff up. So I made one video on how to wire up a radio and I will link that in the description and in the cards in the corner. Until then, I hope you guys found some value in this video. Once again, if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, it's your boy JP signing out.